Hi there boys and girls and welcome back to Learning with Miss Christian. Today we will be looking at Science Term 1, Unit 1, Revision and Test. This will help you to prepare for your science curriculum based upcoming test. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Here is a breakdown of what is to come in this video. We will do a revision of the focus question, a revision of the attainment targets, a revision of the objectives, and we will complete an activity. And last, but by no means least, you will do your term one, unit one test. Here is your focus question. It is, why is it important to care for the environment? You would have already been exposed to this and at this time, you must pull on your prior knowledge and think on this question. The attainment target is for you to recognize the variety of living things, their interdependence, and their interrelationship with the environment. For the objectives, you will formulate a definition for environment. You should say why is it important to conserve the natural environment and you should be able to outline the effects of human activities on the environment. So if you have not been practicing and studying your notes as you should, these are some of the areas you should go through. Remember, objectives are where tests are written from. In another set of objectives, you are to investigate the features of soils and the different environment. Recognize the need and importance for conserving living things and the environment and show a concern of the impact of human activities on the environment. As I said, these are the areas you want to ensure you are strong in before you go into your test. The last set of objectives are for you to be aware of your responsibility to preserve the environment, value individual effort and teamwork, observe, collect, and record information regarding the interacting factors within an environment. We're going to look at the definition of environment. Now, in this video, we will go through some of the objectives, not all. Any that we did not go through, please revisit them. This is a revision and it's uh, showing you or highlighting the areas where possible questions can be generated from. So any objective that we did not touch, it is for you to revise. The environment is all the physical surroundings on earth including all living and non-living things and which affect their life on earth so the desert forest wetlands grasslands marine freshwater and tundra are examples we're going to look at them one by one first stop is our desert a desert is an area often covered with sand or rocks where there is very little rain and not many plants. Hmm. Did you know that there is something that is referred to as an ice desert? Hmm. Look it up. Next, we have forest. A forest is a large area full of trees, 
usually wild so these are natural occurring environments can you think of any forest here in jamaica in the caribbean and in the world next up wetlands wetlands are areas where water covers the soil or is present either at or near the surface of the soil all year or for varying periods of time wetlands grasslands grasslands are areas in which the vegetation is dominated by nearly continuous cover of grass and there are different types of grasslands okay so you can research them a popular one is called savannah do you know any more next you have marine the marine environments are those in the world sea and oceans below mean high tide mark these are our marine environment next up fresh water a fresh water environment contains water that is not salty usually in contrast to the sea the marine environment so these two contrasts the fresh water and the marine environment up next are tundra environment these are treeless regions found in the arctic and on the top of mountains where the climate is cold and windy and rainfall is scant these areas are normally covered with snow for much of the year but summers can bring about a burst of wild flowers we will be doing an activity together you will be shown some photos and you're going to state the name of the environment that the following animals and plants can be found in you are to choose the most suitable environment for each i will be looking in the comments for your answers over to you now well done you sure know your environment you sure know where your animals can be found and your plants thumbs up up next is your term one unit one test 
click the link in the description to complete your test. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you have already done so, then you are a true MVP. Take care. Until next time. Bye.